Hello guys and welcome to Think United TV. It's your boy Listo. Please, if you are new on this channel, please do subscribe to Think United TV. Okay, please do subscribe. Now let's go on to today's episode. We are going to talk about Samuel Eto of Cameroon and also Joel Matip of Cameroon. Now, back in 2014, Cameroon went to the World Cup in Brazil. Joel Matip of Liverpool was part of that squad that went to Brazil. Okay. Now, fast forward back in let's say 2017 when Cameroon went to the AFCON, they recalled this guy back into the national team. They called him to join the AFCON, but Joel Matip declined the call up. Joel Matip declined the call up because he said he wanted to focus on his club side, which is Liverpool. He wanted to have more playing time at Liverpool. So because of that, he did not play in the AFCON that particular year, which is 2017. Cameroon eventually went on to win the AFCON without him. That same year that he rejected the Cameroon call-up, Cameroon went on to win the AFCON. Fast forward again, 2022, Cameroon have qualified to the World Cup. They beat Algeria to qualify for the World Cup. And guess what? Joel Matip has expressed his desire to play for Cameroon again in the World Cup. You get the point? And I'm going to relate this whole thing to Muhammad Salusu. And then you know why I'm going to relate this to Muhammad Salusu, okay? So just hold on. Just hold on. You understand. Joel Matip says he is now ready to play for the World Cup after they have qualified. Okay? He didn't take any part of the qualifiers. The Afghan qualifier or the World Cup qualifier, Joel Matip was not part of it. He didn't even play a single game. But after they have qualified, he wants to be part of the squad that is going to Qatar in December. Now, Samuel Eto, who is the president of the Cameroonian Football Federation, as soon as he heard this, he was so, so angry. The guy was mad. The guy was angry. And he has rejected, immediately rejected that request from Joel Matip. He made a statement. I'm going to read a statement for you to know what he said. He immediately rejected Joel Matip's request to join the Cameroon guys to go to the World Cup. This is what Samuel Eto said. Samuel Eto strongly rejected Matip's request to be recalled to the Cameroon national team for the World Cup. This is a national team. We don't tolerate people who think they are the special ones. We only want to be who only want to be with us when they see honey and fruitfulness. We work hard and we have we have a big respect for players who honor this nation in bad and in good times. I myself have been in I myself have been in best teams in Europe, but I have never undermined playing for the Lions. I think Matip's times are over. He must permanently stay in Liverpool. Those who started this job will finish it in Qatar. It doesn't matter who they are, but they are going to Qatar to enjoy their fruit of qualifying. No one will eat their fruit of success but them. Okay? This is what Samuel Eto has said to Joel Matip that there is no way he's letting Joel Matip enjoy the fruits of those who toiled for it. Like I said, he did not play any part in the World Cup qualifiers. Okay, he didn't even play a single game. Now he wants to come and enjoy something that he did not suffer for. Something that he did not suffer for. No, he wants to come. He wants to now come and enjoy it. Samuel Eto said, "There is no way this is going to happen." He's taking the same players that qualify for the World Cup. Those same players are going to the World Cup in Qatar. If you do not take part of, in the qualifiers, you are not going to the World Cup. And that is a strong warning to Joel Matip. And I think this is the end of Joel Matip for Cameroon. He is not, Joel Matip is not going to Cameroon. And I think, I mean, he's not going to Qatar. And I think this is the last time. He's never going to play for Cameroon. God. This was a strong, a big warning for him. And this goes to other players, not just Cameroon or not just Joel Matip. This goes to every other player who has been rejecting his nation's call-up. Who has been rejecting his nation's call-up. This should be a big lesson. Now, Eto doesn't, he doesn't care who you are. He doesn't care about the teams you play. Like he said, he has been, he has played for some of the big teams. Eto has played for in Barcelona, he has played for Chelsea, he has played for Everton, Inter Milan, he has won a Champions League back-to-back, -back, the only player to do so. So who are you, Matip? He has been to the World Cup. So who are you, Matip, to say you're not going to play for Cameroon? He has been there. Okay? 
Samuel Eto has seen it all. He has enjoyed so many trophies in his life. He is one of the best players in Africa, if not the best. Okay, he has had success with with his national team and with his club level, his club side. Yeah, he has had a lot of success. So who are you, Matip, to to say you're not going to play for Cameroon? Now let's relate this to Mohamed Salusu. Mohamed Salusu, as you know, Ghana, we have been trying to get this guy to play for us for so many years now, and the different coaches, Kosia Pia, uh, Radivac, or what, I don't even know how to say his name, uh, Otuado uh, currently, a lot of people have spoken to Mohamed Salusu. As of now, okay, as of now, Mohamed Salusu has not openly given or stated why he has, he's not playing for Ghana right now. I mean, there have been so many rumors out there, but we have not heard anything official from him or from his camp stating the main reason why he is not, he has been declining Ghana's call up. Now, should he ev now finally accept to play for Ghana, let's say two or three months to the World Cup, and he, Mohamed Salus, to finally agrees to play for Ghana, should he be given the same, the same treatment? Should we eventually give up on Mohamed Salus or we should keep on? trying to get him because like i say we've tried so many times Ghanaians have tried so many times um uh, this can face our owner elijah grusa coaches his brother minister they've all spoken to this guy but as of now we have not heard anything from him whether he wants to play for ghana or not so if the world cup gets closer should we go on with the same squad that qualified or we should bring back muhammad salusu because he's a quality player you get the point? Should we give him the same treatment that Samuel Eto has given to Joel Matic? Should we leave him behind if he eventually, if he decides to come back? Or we should just focus on those guys that Amate, Jiku, Odoi, those guys that played. I'm not talking about those guys that rejected because so far he's the only one who has rejected. So um, the 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 Tariq Lamptis and the others are not part of this conversation. Okay, we are talking about those who had a call up, but then they rejected the call up, which is Mohamed Salusu. Should we give him the same treatment, or we should try and get him to play for us? Let me know your comments, or let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Okay, let's start the conversation right down below. Okay, let me know what you think. Should we give him the same treatment, or should we accept him back whenever he is ready to play for Ghana? Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.